the usually clean and green city-state of Singapore witnessed a brief deterioration in its air quality on Tuesday, with the 1-hour PM 2.5 reading crossing into the elevated range. This event marked the sudden departure from the norm, as the city-state is known for its high environmental standards and stringent pollution control measures. Particularly, the reading in the east was on the edge of the elevated range, while other regions displayed normal readings. However, the situation in the east swiftly improved, returning to normal shortly after. The PSI is a vital tool to assess the air quality in Singapore. Over the next 24 hours, the PSI for all regions is forecasted to be in the moderate range. This indicates that while the immediate threat has been mitigated, careful observation and preventive measures are still warranted. The PSI measures the concentration of specific pollutants in the air, providing a standardized way to understand and compare air quality. It ranges from 0 to 500, where a higher index indicates a higher level of pollutants. This event comes on the heels of a worrying weekend, where Singapore experienced an even greater deterioration in air quality. The 24-hour PSI on Saturday entered the unhealthy range. The East saw a reading of 105, while the central area recorded a value of 95 and the South had a value of 84. The rise in air pollution was attributed to elevated levels of PM2. 5. Fine particulate matter that poses significant health risks. The National Environment Agency NEA attributed the pollution increase to the significant rise in hotspots detected in Sumatra, Indonesia. Forest fires in the region led to smoke, plumes and haze drifting towards Singapore. The NEA warned that air quality could continue to deteriorate over the weekend if the forest fires persisted and wind directions remained unfavorable. This recent bout of air pollution underscores the potential environmental and health challenges that Singapore could face due to external factors. As global temperatures rise and forest fires become more frequent, the threat of transboundary haze could become a regular occurrence. This could have serious implications, not only for the health of Singapore's residents, but also its reputation as a clean and green city. We must continue to monitor these situations closely and take necessary precautions, said a spokesperson from the NEA. Our focus remains on safeguarding the health of our citizens and maintaining the environmental integrity of our city.